What is good? What is going on? It is Wednesday afternoon and Kuala Lumpur have been a little bit slow. We're reaching to the end of the sort of a main snake activity period here in, in the Cape. So things have been a little bit slow um, and I've been away for a couple of days. We were looking for some really nice geckos and some snakes out on the Orange River on the border of South Africa and Namibia. So I missed a couple of calls, but I have a call now heading to Camps Bay for a, what sounds like a puff header around a water tank or a pool pump or something. Not quite sure, but we're heading there now. Traffic is a bit of a nightmare at the moment, but as soon as we get there, I will strap on the GoPro and take you guys with me. Chua! So we just got to the house. Uh, this driveway isn't going to be steep. I need my snake tube and we will need our tongs. Um, we should be good to go, bits of puff header. Hi there. Okay. Yes. Did you want to kind of see it in the house or do you want to go straight to the back? Oh, we can just go straight. It should be fairly. <laughs> it should be fairly straightforward. Usually in Camps Bay, it's puff adders. I mean, yeah. boom slangs, which are not straightforward. So this should be fairly okay, simple. I've opened that courtyard door. So if you go, I mean, I can show you. Yeah, I mean, are you obviously. I mean, you can. I'm nervous. Okay. No, yeah, but no, don't. I'm still far away. I was gonna say, don't worry, it won't um, it won't get either of us, so we'll be fine. Because I wouldn't let my husband catch it, and he's now not speaking to us because he's cross. It's it's behind that behind the Georgia tank. tank. The okay, side. I think I can see its tail. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, I can see its head. How fast does it move? Uh, it won't move very fast. Can I see my video? Yeah, yeah, of course. It's not gonna come for me. No, it'll get me before <laughs> so, it gets you. Okay, I'll call Sorry, you. I didn't see we've got a bit of an audience. <laughs> Yeah. I'll throw um, you in front. Um, I'm just making a video too, so I'll just see. Here's its head. Okay, it's not too big. I mean, it's big enough, but it's not a monster sized puff header by any means. But there we go. So let's just pull him out quickly. And then you just put him in here. Yeah, so you'll see I put the tube up against the wall. So in theory, when I take him out with this, I hold it very gently and put its head towards the tube. It sees it as a, like a dark entrance. So I won't grab it by the head and stress the snake out because that's not very nice for the snake and it's not safe for a person. So what I'll do is I'll tickle it by the tail and it should come out that side. It's a female. Females have very short tails. So you sh I've got a tube just down in front there. No. It, um... Yeah, it won't be able to come close to you or anything like that. Okay, it's being a little bit stubborn. We're just gonna... Okay, yeah, it's not, uh, it's not too big. So, we'll just gently pull it out. You can have a look at it. You can see that's why I call it a puff head. It's making that big hissing sound. And you'll see the females have got a very short tail like that. A male of this size, the tail will be about two and a half times the size. Um, you can see it's relatively calm. I'm just gonna pick it up very gently and you'll see when we put it towards the wall here, with a bit of luck, it'll go the other go way. Back. Yeah, sometimes they are full of nonsense, but generally, um, <laughs> the tube I'll show you now. You can see it's just grabbing its um, scales along the, the tiles or the bricks. So we just twist it the other way and make its head go this way. And if it doesn't go in between the gap, it should go straight in the hole. No, it wants to go between. Yeah, sometimes they cooperate really easily. Um, other times, not so much. But usually if you lift the head off the body like that, it should go. And, the, and you, there you go. And usually you've got to wash the tube after each time you put it in. Because if I have had a cobra in there, mm. there's no way that snake will ever go in there. Because it'll still have the scent of the cobra. And yeah. Cape Cobras eat other snakes. Yeah, you can go outside. But it's all safely secured. You can see it. It's, <laughs> well, it's inside there. Don't worry, he won't, he won't come out. Do you want to see it in the tube? He's just, yeah. he, she, oh, well, it's a she, yeah. She's just in the tube like that. And they can't shoot out. Uh, no, but the is are relatively slow. I've had um, boom slang shoot out. I've had, uh, yeah, I've had slang shoot out before. But usually they just want to get away. They're not, um, they're not interested in biting at all. Have you been bitten by one? Nothing, not by any dangerous snakes. Just a little harmless. Um, what happens if they're bitten? 
um, it's going to ruin your next week or so. <laughs> but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I will won't release it here because that's where everyone hikes. Yeah. yeah, so I'll find a spot at the end of the road here. I can't remember what it's called. Um, I, rec I catch a little things in the house down there on the corner. So I'll take it there. Yeah, I think it, that's the one. Oh, so this looks like a decent place. Nice and rocky with these tufts of grass right on the base of the mountain. So snakes should be really happy living here. So we're just going to take it out and give you guys a better look at it. So here's just a look at this puppet. Let's see if I can get it to come out the tube a little bit towards you guys. It'll probably knock over the GoPro. And there we go. It's a beautiful puff at her. Um, not a very big one, but you can see she's just upside down. But as soon as we flick her over, she will be good to go. Let's see, she's just relaxing. Beautiful yellow markings and chevrons. Females are generally quite a bit more dull in coloration compared to the, the Cape males, which are just synonymous from being extremely high contrast black and yellow. But um, this little one, she can safely get out of harm's way around all these houses. And she can go live back on this beautiful mountain. Thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.